What's going on guys? Apathy back in the city with another video. Just got back from MLG Orlando. I'm not the happiest guy, but at the same time I can't complain. We ended up placing second after a crazy loser bracket run. If you didn't know, I'm a team envious. My team consists of Jcap, Slasher, and John. But overall, it was a pretty uh, successful, solid tournament. And I can't, like I said, I can't really complain. We were potentially going to be top 8, get knocked out uh, against C9, which I will later explain. And we ended up placing top 2, you know, uh... Played Optic in Grand Finals, won the first best of five, and then they smoked us in the second one. They won 3-0. But I'm going to try my best to just quickly go through this video and talk about the teams and talk about our matches. Uh, I, 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 this is my third time doing this video. It just it, Every time it's like 20 minutes long, I need to stop doing this. So I'm going to try my best to just generalize every match and just quickly go on into like the mo more important matches. So going to MLG Orlando, we were the number one seed. Our pool consists of Elevate, uh, EXTSM, or EU United, if, if you guys know that was their, their new name. And then also Bittersweet, who later made it on into our pool. Going into, the, going into our first match, which is Elevate, we're the first match of the tournament. Uh, we felt confident they obviously won our season two finals, so we didn't know too much what to expect because every team is a little bit different on land. But we still felt confident. We just came off a win from season two finals. We we're looking strong online. You know, every time we played them online, we usually win map counts pretty badly. So going into the tournament and playing the first, like I, like I said, did not know too much what to expect, but we felt confident. We won the hard point by like 30 points, uh, won the search by like, I'm pretty sure it was a pretty bad, it was like by four rounds, like 6-2. And then the uplink is where we choke. It was evac uplink. I'll never forget. Uh, it's not that we choked, but they just they were playing it so well. Uh, Aqua was going off with the HVK. I fucking hate that gun. Let me tell you. And they ended up they ended up taking the uplink. So then we went to the CTF, and I believe we only won by like one or two flags. I'm not sure. It was an overall pretty close match, but we ended up winning three one. So after winning that, that was the most important match of our pool, in our pool. We felt good. We felt confident. Then our next match was against XTSM. Hard point, I'm pretty sure, if I'm not wrong, we won by like almost 150 points. Pretty much 100 point club them. Then it went to the Search and Destroy. Uh, search and Destroy Breach. This is the match. This is the map that was really close. I'm pretty sure... They, they were up like four, three, four rounds, and out of nowhere, we come back, we made it 5-5, five, five, and they ended up clutching the last round. So they, they ended up winning the map 6-5. So we're like, okay, you know, it happens, it is what it is. Then we went to the uplink and CTF. Uh, I'm pretty sure our respawn game is really strong. The uplink, we probably won by like eight points. CTF, we probably won by like two caps, three caps. So we ended up winning the series 3-1. So now we are two over in a pool. And we are going to go to the next stage. So Bittersweet ended up going into our pool. Like I said, don't, did not know too much about them. Uh, did only know like kind of one player. and But they ended up beating, I remember, I'm pretty sure they beat Center's team. And they beat like another good team to, I think it was Echo Fox to get this far. So I didn't want to take them lightly. But obviously, if you're playing Bittersweet or Optic, you know, Optic you're going to go three times harder than you would against Bittersweet. But it doesn't mean where we weren't going hard against Bittersweet. You know, we still went 100%. And the hard point... I'm pretty sure we won by like 150, we like 100 point clubbed them. Like it was like 140 points, 130, whatever, something like that. Then we went to the search. The search, it was just, we we're just switching rounds. They got around, we got around, they got around, we got around. But we were just choking a couple rounds. Could have, should have gone our way. It was pretty bad. So they ended up taking the search 6 5. We're tied 1 1. And now we we're going to play up like a CTF, which. In my opinion, are probably our best game types. I mean, I think we're a really well-rounded team. I think we need work on S and D mainly because usually we lose more search than we lose anything else. But uh, our CTF and uplink is just really strong. Hard point. Uh, it could be really strong at times. It's, just, it's really iffy. But I knew going to three and four, we're gonna be fine. I'm pretty sure we won the uplink by a decent amount of points, and the CTF we won by like three caps or something like that. Actually, I think the CTF was kind of close at one point. We probably won by like two caps. But, you know, this kid, Hippie, was going off for his team. I think there was someone else who was doing pretty well. But overall, you know, his I think they're, they're, his team, their team, bittersweet isn't that bad. It was just a lot of inconsistency. Like, two players would be going off and, like, potentially keeping them in the game. And then the other two players would be doing bad. And then the other two players would be going off. And they were just switching, you know, constantly. So that really messed them up. But overall, you know, we ended up winning Series 3-1. So we were 3-0 in our pool. 
feeling good, feeling confident. That's how you want to start a tournament. Now our next match was either going to be Phase or Rise. That was we were supposed to pretty much play Rise because Phase beat Rise in the other pool. But out of nowhere, C9 took Phase last map. They were up 4-0 in SND. I'm pretty sure. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below. And out of nowhere, they have an insane comeback and win like 6-5. Phase is out of nowhere turned up and ended up being C9. If C9 would have beat Phase and Rise would have somehow like 3 0 uh, C9, I'm pretty sure we would have ended up playing C9 for top six. But instead, C9 lost to Phase and Rise stayed at second. Phase go 3 0 and get first. So we had to play Rise again for top six. This is the second tournament in a row. We ended up playing, well, we ended up playing Rise in Season 2 Finals for, like, Top 3 or whatever it was. But we ended up playing also, if you guys didn't know, we ended up playing uh, at MLG Anaheim. We ended up playing Rise for Top 6. It just They didn't win their, their match versus Infused. They got second in their pool. And then, what you know, we're playing them. So we had to play Rise again for Top 6. Now, we beat them at Season 2 Finals. Uh, we're still, we were still very confident. Obviously, they, we know they're a very strong team, one of the top teams in North America. So we knew that we had to bring fire. We knew we, we had to go hard. Uh, first map, hard point. I'm pretty sure we won. It was like stronghold. I'm pretty sure we won by like 30 points. Uh, the S and D. I'm pretty sure we won like 6-2. We're up 2-0 and out of nowhere. This is the crazy part. Evac uplink. We were up 9 to 2 with like with like two minutes and a half remaining, something like that. We're up seven points on the good side. We had a good side. And out of nowhere, they get us in a spawn trap. Octane gets in the back of our spawn with an AR, which is so hard to stop. And they're just constantly controlling our base. They come back 9-9. Nine, nine. Man, dude, 9-9. They tie it up with like 45 seconds remaining. I'm pretty sure they wrap the ball. They get a dunk. And then they were up 9-11. to 11. Uh, We managed to get a 1 with like 15 seconds remaining. Something or something around there. 15-20 seconds remaining. We go, It goes 10-11. It was probably like 15 seconds remaining. And then Slasher grabs the ball. Passes to J-Cat. J-Cat passes Camo. And they intercept the ball. He probably could have played that a little different. Potentially dunked it. Or got a 1. Like if he would have cut middle instead of going top AC. Because everyone expects you to go top AC. But he could have probably tied it or even won the game for us. But he throws the 1 for top AC. There's already a guy there. He just intercepts it. It sucks that they came back like that. We could have easily, easily 3 0 them. And we just would have moved on to top six and play Optic for top three. And you want to stay in that winner bracket. You want to stay there. Because if you get to grand finals, the other team has to beat you two best of fives. And that's so much harder to do. Especially if they played a lot of matches, they're probably a little bit more tired than you. So it's just, it's it's such an advantage and it's so good to go through a winner's bracket. And it always happens to me. I always fucking go down to loser's bracket, turn, loser's bracket every damn time in these tournaments, man. I'm telling you, unless it was single elimination, I always end up going somehow to uh, to loser's bracket. So, we had to play TK for top 8. And this was a couple hours later. So, we ended up playing TK for top 8 at around 12 a.m. A.m., yeah. 12 a.m. So, 12 o'clock at night. Uh, we had a couple hours to regain versus Rides because that was obviously very heartbreaking. Uh, I, I mean, I didn't finish explaining it, but CTF, they won by like 3 caps. The Hunted Search, which was last map, they beat us like 6-2. I mean, once we got to last map, we pretty much lost full, I guess. So they ended up winning 3-2, uh, reverse swept us. Pretty heartbreaking. But again, we had a couple hours to regain, so it's all good. We ended up playing TK for top 8. Going to our TK match, uh, TK, if you didn't know, consists of Theory, Kochan, Happy, and Gunjar. Going to our match uh, versus TK, uh, I, I, I'm not going to say, like, they're not they're not a bad team. They're obviously not, but obviously I'm really confident. If I'm not playing Optic, Phase, or Rise, or LG, maybe... Uh, or elevate, you know, any team other than that, I feel really confident to play against. So we knew going into our TK match, we're, we were going to be fine. We just got to make sure we go hard, uh, make minimum mistakes, and just, and just take the W. So we ended up winning 3-0. Uh, like, one or two of the maps were kind of close, but we just we won 3-0. Uh, top 8, you know, that's what we placed at MLG Anaheim. But I didn't want to stay top 8. I wanted a better placing, you know. We just fucking won the last tournament. I didn't want to just play top a again like what kind of shit is that so the crazy part is we ended up having to play another match we had to play c9 for top six and this was at like 1 30 o'clock in the morning now when they told us to play tk for top eight around 12 o'clock i was like you know what okay that's not too bad but then they said we had to play c9 for top eight i was like holy shit i mean for top six i was like well i mean my team was kind of losing full but I wasn't going to lose full for top six. You know, I'm not going to be like, oh, my God, we got to play this right now. Like, 
dude, like holy, no, I'm gonna focus up, make sure to secure this W, and if I gotta get four hours of sleep and go to the next day, I gotta get four hours of sleep and go to the next day. Like, there's not much I can do about it, so I just focused up, you know, we ended up going down, we lost the first hard point by like 10 points, seven points, I don't know, it was probably in the single digits, it really sucked, but we ended up losing the first hard point, it was a really close game, pretty sure it was like 10 points. Then the search and destroy, uh, we could have potentially won that. Havoc had a crazy 1v3 clutch, and he had a 1v2 also. Those two round swings were just, they hurt us so bad. He should have never got those, but Havoc is a really good search player. So, I mean, he just played it really well. There's nothing we could do about that. If our team just played a little better, we could have easily won those rounds. So, he ended up clutching a 1v3, 1v2. Those two rounds basically secured his team that search and destroy. So, they ended up going 2-0. At this point, Slasher gets up, he walks off stage, he's like, he walks off the, the station, he's like, dude, he didn't even say anything, he just walks off, and, you know, me and John and Cap are sitting there, and we're just like, dude, we need to regain, like, focus up, like, we, it's now or never, like, we're just talking a little bit, you know, like, trying to get focused up, you know, and we ended up, we were like, alright, three and four right now, CTF and Uplink. I mean, up, up link and CTF is probably our best game modes. We're so good at three and four. So let's get these two maps. Let's go to the last map. We ended up winning the up link by like 15 points. It was like 21-5. I'm pretty sure it was just uh, a really good up link from us. The CTF, uh, I think it was really close at one point. But we ended up winning like 3-1 or something like that. And we went to last map. Going to last map, I was pumped. I was fired up. You know, I was I was getting hyped even though it was like, oh, like 2.30 in the morning. And everyone was tired and the venue was like almost no one in there. But I was getting pumped. We we're just taking rounds, rounds by rounds. We we're playing it so well, you know, playing as a team, communicating. We we're like, we're, we just had this mindset. We're like, we're not losing right here. We're not losing now. And we ended up taking a search. I'm pretty sure it was like 6-2 or something. Just a really dominant search from us. So we ended up winning 3-2 versus C9 for top 6. And that was a huge win from us because I was not going out top 8. And just reverse sweeping them like thank god we regained so we ended up beating c9 for top six and this was almost three o'clock in the morning by the time i got to my bed to my hotel room it was like 3 15. uh we had to be up by like 8 30 the next day didn't fall asleep for another 30 minutes so i i I, pretend, I almost went to sleep at like four o'clock got like four hours and like 40 minutes of sleep around something around there and it was pretty awful knowing that we got that a little that little sleep and knowing that we had to play the next day if potentially we got to the grand finals all those matches and then play grand finals with that amount of sleep and i don't like to make excuses you know before i go there optic did beat us you know they they played they outplayed us but i sleep in my opinion is a huge factor uh you know if you i mean the, every average gamer you know you, the ones that you guys play like all of you guys you know the difference if you're playing on like a well-rested day, you know, like nine, eight, nine hours sleep, or you're playing on like four or five hours sleep. There's a there's a pretty big difference on the way you play, you know, the way you think, you know, you're just more on point, you're more focused, you're making better plays. And, but I didn't really, you know, care too much for that because all I cared about was getting to grand finals and winning. So I wasn't going to about to make that as excuse. I wasn't about to let that plague my mind. So going to the next day, we had all, all of us on average had like about four hours of sleep, four hours and a half of sleep. But we obviously wanted to win. We obviously wanted to take it. So we were going to play Rise for our first match for top four. Rematch versus Rise. Let's go, baby. I know. So first map, uh, I'm pretty sure they won the first map. Slasher went off the first map. Uh, just all three of us played so average. We couldn't really get anything going. We ended up losing by like 30, 40 points. So Rise take the first hard point. We were like, all right, dude, if Slash, we got, we had to turn up, man. Slash was doing this shit, he's going off, and we're just like letting him down. So we knew we all had to turn up. Next map was Search and Destroy Stronghold. Uh, I'm pretty sure we won like, I don't think it was 5-5. Five, five. We probably won like 6-4, 6-3, something like that. Uh, I went, I, I played really well that map, I'm not going to lie. Had some crazy kills and two pieces. So we ended up winning the Search. We're like, all right, we're tied 1-1. One, one. We really needed a Search because sometimes we lose the Search right after the hard point. Because our search game could be pretty weak at times. So we won the search. Tied 1-1. One, one, then it went to the uplink. I don't remember the uplink. I want to say it was fringe uplink. Or it was an infection. Uh, it had to been infection uplink because JCap went off. So I'm pretty sure it was infection uplink. Uh, JCap just went off. Uh, we all played pretty well too. But he was like the main one just doing his thing. And we ended up taking the map. And then it, we were up 2-1. Then it was a CTF. 
Uh, I think it was Fringe. It was a rematch because we play, ended up playing the CZF Fringe, the first series when we first lost them. Um, <clears throat> and we ended up winning like 3-1 or something. So we ended up beating Rise 3-1. A pretty solid victory other than the first map. Uh, felt pretty confident. You know, we just beat Rise. You know, we had a... It was a big match. So we felt confident going to the next match. Now we had to play FaZe for top three. Now FaZe somehow always get to like Sunday and get top four or something. They just clutch up. So we knew that, you know, we knew what they were capable of. But we just we had a, a nice win off phase. I mean off rise. So we we're feeling confident going to phase the match. You know we just made sure to play our banner protects right. Make sure to go hard. You know make sure not to take them lightly. The hard point. The first map was insanely close. Phase should have. I'm not gonna lie. Phase should have won that first hard point. Uh, my team just we just we just clutched up so hard. Uh, I remember they literally cleared out all three of them. I think I was dead. I was off spawn. All three of them cleared out the train hill and pinched it and just spawned them out. And pretty much that won us a map. Uh, we won by like six, seven points. If if my team never did that, they probably would have won the map. But my team just went clutched up so hard. So we ended up winning the first hard point. Then it was S and D evac. I'm pretty sure it was pretty close. Uh, I want to say I think it was they won six five. Uh, there was a couple rounds we kind of threw away. We could have played it a little better, but Evac Search and Destroy we definitely need work on, and they have, they ended up winning six five. Um, Jcap put could have almost he he could have potentially clutched a one v three in the end. He got a kill. Attach was planning. If he would have snapped on Attach quickly and just killed him off the bomb, I think Clay wasn't in a positioning trade, and he could have easily just outplayed Clay for the one v one to win it. But it's all good. Um, it is a 1v3. Can't expect much. If he doesn't clutch, he doesn't clutch it. So we ended up losing 6-5. Now, going to the uplink. I want to say it was Breach uplink. I'm pretty sure we won by like 6-7 points. Um, pretty dominant game for my team. We just played it really well. We were really good on that map. Then it went to CTF, Stronghold. Uh, that's where everyone's talking about. Clayster went 4-22. Clayster went 4-22. Because he actually ended up going 4-22. And, and we, we won by like 3 like two two caps i think it was like three to one or four to one something like that uh i played really well uh i just i really took off with like two three two three minutes remaining of the game of the map but overall you know just crazy game uh we ended up beating phase three one so we beat rise three one we beat phase three one you know we're feeling good we're feeling great like i said uh just 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 working our way up to grand finals you know, trying our best, you know, making sure we're energized, making sure we're focused, you know, staying on the uh, staying on the goal. So then we ended up playing Elevate because Elevate lost 3-0 to Optic. So we beat Elevate earlier 3-1. to uh, We're just we're on fire right now. We just beat the, one of the two best teams in the game, 3-1-3-1. Uh, three, one, three, one, and we're feeling really good. So playing versus uh, Elevate, like I said, confident, ready, you know, not too much to worry about. Uh, we're just going to go in there and do our thing. The first hard point, I think it was really close. I want to say we won by like 20 points. Uh, really, really, really close hard point. Then it went to Search and Destroy. Uh, I don't know how close. I think the Search and Destroy was a little bit of a blowout too, like 6-3, 6-2. And then the uplink, uh, I remember felt, I just remember this, dude. It was hard. It was uplink fringe. Um, we just, we were running a train on them. John and Slash were having a crazy game. Uh, we won by like 50, not 50, probably, probably by like 12 points. Uh, but I remember I looked at the scoreboard at one point. It might have been the first half. Fellow is like 16 and 14 or something, 17 and 14, something like that. And his whole team is like six and eight, five and four, like seven and and, and nine. Like they all had so little kills. I was like, damn, Fellow's doing it all right now. But you know he couldn't get anything. Obviously he can't one before us. So we ended up beating Elevate 3-0, and now we're in Grand Finals versus Optic Gaming. This is what we wanted. You know, we wanted to play them because a lot of people were saying, you know what, you can't beat Optic, this and that. So that, that was our main goal, and especially potentially getting knocked out for top eight, and now we were in Grand Finals. So going to Grand Finals versus Optic, we knew they wanted it bad. We wanted it bad. We knew we had to just, like, you know, bring the fire because that's exactly what they were going to do. They wanted this event really bad. They wanted to win. So we had to do the same. So first map, hard point breach, um, crazy hard point, just back and forth, back and forth, trading hill time, trading hill. It was really like just tied throughout the whole map. But towards the end, um, I remember Karma was the only one who rotated. Uh, we all rotated as a team. We gave up like 15 seconds. And 
I mean, I feel bad for Karma because he rotated early. He was the only one. But we ended up killing Karma. And then two were pushing side door or something. Slasher gets another two kills. And Slasher just, like, kind of got, like, a four, like, four kills in a row. You know, back there. Back holding uh, the hard point. And we just held the last hard point on Breach. And we just clutched up. And we won. It was a crazy first map. Uh, really happy how that went. Then the next map was Hunted Infection. Uh, Hunted Infection, uh, we were, I mean, Hunted, wow, that sounds, I'm sorry, I apologize. Hunted Search. We're really good at Hunted Search. Not our best, best, best map, but definitely I think we, we have a lot of, a lot of um, experience on it. So going to the Hunted s and uh, I'm pretty sure it was just trading rounds, trading rounds, like, like it's like any other game mode. I remember we got a 2v3, I'm pretty sure it was a 2v3 Ninja Diffuse. I, I was defusing a bomb while John was watching over me. And we just clutched up. I remember, I don't know if it was 5-5, five, five, might have been 5-4. I don't I, I don't know. I'm pretty sure, we, I don't know if we won 6-5 or 6-4. I just knew the rounds were close. But if you guys were watching, when I got the, I was hiding in the back of a bomb or behind a truck. I kill one and just fly it out knowing I have heat wave. And someone's going to probably be next to him. He waved the guy for two piece. And then I think John gets a dark kill. And pretty much after that, it's a 1-4. And we just secured the win. So we ended up going 2-0 in the series. Then it was evac uplink. Uh, for the most part, Optic was controlling the pace. They're playing it so well, and then out of nowhere, Slasher turned up. He gets some the spawn trap. He has a we had a Serbian base, and we it was looking promising. We were gonna do what Rise did to us. We were about to win that map, but then Karma and Crim6 OE. Karma gets a huge kill on me trying to get the ball, and after that, that pretty much broke our setup, and we just lost. But it, we could have potentially won that map if we just. If John would have came with me because John went mid instead of coming to the ball, if he would have just came with me, we could have potentially won that map. But it's all good. It is what it is. It's not a big deal. And then what was the next map? Then it was there was a stronghold, stronghold CTF. They just had a dominant performance. They won. Uh, Crim Six went off that map. And then we we went to last map. The last map was Fringe S and D. Now Fringe S and D was was crazy. I'm not gonna lie. All I remember is. Uh, they were up three rounds in a row. They were just playing it so well. They were up 3-0. We're like, fuck. And then Sasha just goes like, dude, we can do this. Let's go, man. We got this. Don't worry about it. And I was like, you know what? We could do this. And I just I had that positive mindset. And then Slasher started getting picks. He got first blood like four rounds in a row. He's just getting picks. I'm like, let's go. We got this. And we just started bringing it round by round, just round by round, just playing it so smart, playing it so well, playing as a team. And we ended up winning six rounds in a row. So we take the first series, the, the first series of best of five, you know, that's that's a huge thing. Uh, you know, forcing the, the the last one and the one and only, whoever wins this wins. It, it was crazy. We were pumped. You know, we all took like a little small break, five minute break. And we're like, all right, let's go. We got this. The Stronghold, Str Stronghold Hardpoint was the most important map in that series, in my opinion. Especially for us. Uh, it's just been such a long day for us. You know, we're... we're I mean, we obviously still have a lot of energy, but there was times where we just made bad plays. I felt like we just weren't as focused as we usually are, but it is what it is. Like, we can't make any excuses. You know, we're put on the spot where two hours of sleep, four hours of sleep, seven hours of sleep, whatever the case is, like, none of that matters. Not, I mean, obviously, like, it's a, it makes a difference and it matters, but at the moment, at the time, it doesn't matter whether I got 10 hours of sleep or four hours of sleep. I'm in grand finals, I'm playing. The only thing that matters is winning and trying to get the win. So we knew we had to bring the fire. We knew that first map was everything. Because if we win that first map, s and Redwood is probably one of our worst search in the shores. That's that's 100% a fact. We, so we've gotten six old on that map so many times. And uh, s and in general is probably our weakest game type. And that first map is just so, so much momentum and it helps us out so much more. So we were, the hard point was pretty much stronghold. I'm not going to go throughout the hard point, but it was pretty much tied uh, towards the end. It was like 230 to 225. We had rotations to the next hill and we just lost, all of us just lost a gunfight and they broke it and they won the map. It was so heartbreaking knowing that we could have won that map easily if we just won one or two gunfights. And that really makes, that, that really sucks. Like it really does. But, I mean, it is what it is, right? You can't do anything about it. And that hard point was such a huge momentum changer. They win the S&D Redwood like 6-1. We just played so dumb. And then they were up 2-0. Um, at that point, it's so hard to, like, come back from that. I mean, we've done it before. But, you know, Grand Finals, they're up 2-0. Uh, I mean, we tried our best. We were, like, we were like, we got this. We've done this before. Let's go. Let's try to do this. Um, hard point. It was not hard point. It was up like French. 
I remember I was playing pretty well. I was trying my best to keep us alive, uh, but we just couldn't get anything really going. They kept like get, they got us in a one spot trap that really hurt us. Uh, I wish it. It, it all it all happened because of Camel. I remember I was gonna kill Krim on ball and he just cameled away with the ball and then he just got us a spawn trap. I fucking hate Camel sometimes, but it is what it is. And they ended up winning 3-0 the second series. Uh, they played it really well. Uh, that that first map was everything. Like to them, it wasn't probably everything because they're really good at SD Redwood and they just have more momentum than us and energy. But that first map was just, it was it was so much to us and us losing that it just I guess it hurt us really bad. We tried our best to bounce back and come back, but it is what it is. So we ended up losing uh, 3-0, and I mean we got second place. You can, we can't complain really the the road we took and how far we got. You know we even though we didn't technically win and beat Optic, we still beat them in one best of five, and they just got they just outplayed us in the second one. You know there's not not much you could do. I'm not going to sit here and make excuses. They just beat us fair and square. You know, whether it's Sleep, whether it's this, whether it's the Cronus, blah, 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 whatever. Uh, they were just a better team in the second best of five. We obviously have work to do. We obviously should have played the Stronghold Hardpoint a little better in the end. We obviously should should have played the SD Redwood a lot better. And the Hardpoint Uplink, they were just outplaying us. I mean, not Hardpoint Uplink, Fridge Uplink, they outplayed us. So they ended up winning. Congrats to them. Uh, XP is in like three weeks, pretty much three weeks. So I'm going to be really focused on that event. I know this vlog was kind of long, but I really wanted to like kind of talk about most matches and try to get as much out of me as possible. But I want to say thank you everyone who tuned in, who supported me throughout the weekend, who tuned in and watched the streams. You know, everyone who was there cheering us on and cheering our team on. I really appreciate it. I really, us really appreciate the love, guys. Thank you so much. I'm going to try to make you guys proud at XB. I'm going to continue to grind, keep fixing our mistakes, work on our search and destroy because that's something we really need to work on. And hopefully, you know, come out with the W for XP. Because that's been my goal since, since pretty much the start of the game. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, appreciate everyone who stayed throughout the whole thing. This has been your boy, Afti. Hope you all have a great day. And I'm out. Peace.